going on? My name is Ryan. Welcome to the Analytic Gengar. Thanks for joining today's video. Today we're going to be doing Hidden Fates Openings Part 2. So this is an entire booster box of these guys, the Charizard Hidden Fates tin. Um, as you can see, I have placed them on screen because I realized how long and awkward it can be to fumble around opening these things. Um, I will now briefly entertain you with my attempt at opening these things with a meat cleaver. Okay, glad we all lived through that. Anyways, um, Charizard tins, fun stuff. So Charizard, just real quick, is the mascot of um, many things, including you know the infamous shiny Charizard. But what's cool is that this promo card that's on the inside of the tin has actually been going for a lot of money. Um, apparently, people want it because it's actually a pretty decent card. Um, and I will actually be doing a giveaway. So one lucky subscriber will receive the promo card. And if you want, the tin too. So I'll pick at random. So if you guys aren't already, please make sure to like this video, comment something down below, and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram. And if you do all four things, I will pick one of those lucky people and I will go ahead and send you this entire tin if you want. I'll pick the best one because some of them are a little banged up. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested, definitely enter. We'll be given do a, doing a lot of giveaways over the next couple of months. So definitely stay tuned. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Again, I love that logo. Um, and with that said, let's get started. So today, the only difference between this video and the Raichu video is that in this video, um, instead of stacking them by the pack art, I stack them by tin. So this tin, these four booster boosters came out of one tin. So in theory, we should be able to take this, look at it, and then say, okay, this tin was good, this tin was bad. And the reason I'm doing that is because in the last video, we actually hit this weird dry spell where in the middle of all the packs, we weren't getting anything. And then towards the back, we started getting stuff again. So I figure um, it could be because of the way I was stacking them. So this time we're doing them individually and we'll see what happens. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, and yeah, guys, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, tons of fun. It is super late at night right now, so I am running on zero to nothing, but I love these cards. Um, and just like last time, all of the booster, online TCG booster packs will be given away on our Instagram, so feel free to follow us there, and we'll get you some good stuff. So we have a Jigglypuff and a Vaporeon. I'm gonna put them in this pile. And then there you go. Then we'll start our stack. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in anything online TCG, definitely give us a follow. Um, you can get a lot of boosters out that way, so that'll be pretty good for you. Speaking of booster. Um, and yeah, let's Lego. Blame the last stand, a reason. Okay, a lot of Misty's determination, etc. Got another birds. Ooh, yo, very nice. I don't have that one yet. And an Eevee. Love Eevee. And then Peter City Gym, Strategy, and Mistyana. Um, so this is good. Slowly but surely, and of course this is basically how everyone operates now, um, is you get one of these cards, you get two of these cards, slowly but surely you start sort of making up um, a lot of the different parts of the collection. So. Um, so far, a bit of a not impressive tin, just at a glance. Regular rare Mew, 
Got like 50 of those. And a Misty Yama. Very nice. Pardon the loud bump. So one thing that I do have to say is that uh, all things considered, it's still a fun set of cards to open up, but I am curious what the returns are on something like this. So you spent, you know, I for example spent a hilarious amount of money tonight getting these cards. I'm curious, that's fun, Clefairy and Clefairy. And then a Dark Energy, so you can't even power them up the right way. Um, I spent a hilarious amount of money on these cards tonight. Um, just, you know, MSRP, not even anything crazy. But I bought, you know, three booster boxes worth of cards. Um, and now I'm kind of scared that, like, you know, is this... And of course, this was never a secret, the Pokemon hobby is insanely costly. Um... But I'm curious to know exactly how costly it is because, for example, in $40 of tins, we've only gotten two shiny cards. Not even two shiny cards, we've gotten two cards of any interest or value to the internet. Whoa, okay, never mind. Alright, point made. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna circle around back to that one. Amazing! Alright, let's sleeve this guy up right away. Ooh, and it's the one with the nose ring. It's Tapu Bulu Gold Card. So, definitely a very cool card. Um, this is one of four all of Tapu Pokemon, and they're the gold cards in this particular set. So, I guess I was talking smack far too early, but we now have our first gold card. Very nice. Um, and then fun fact, that is out of the secret vault. So that's pretty cool. So I guess in two tins, we've pulled that much so far at least. Hopefully on video. Okay. I apologize. Sometimes I have to check to make sure with this overhead display or not. Okay, so that, was, that kind of woke me up, not gonna lie. It's one o'clock in the morning here, but that that definitely sort of kicked me alive, not gonna lie. Let's go through this very quickly. Brock's training, the 2 GX. Technically a full. Get on his exile, Brock's great again. Okay. I've been doing my best to, uh, you know, leave these cards I want uh, you know I want to keep them nice super happy about that card um, so that's actually awesome for a gold card in our second booster um, and then I'll probably do what I did in the last video and sort of organize them that way okay so that was our third honestly these aren't important enough okay stay over there and we're on to our third Well, what I was saying before Tapu Bulu interrupted um, is I'm curious to know, you know, exactly how costly an activity like this is um, because, you know, it does, it's not a little bit of money and then on top of everything else, you're never guaranteed anything. Very nice. Double pull. Um, so, you know, one has to argue the question. There's this argument that it's not gambling if you're guaranteed something. And since you're at least guaranteed, like, you know, a Pokemon card, technically it's not gambling, technically you're just paying. Um, so not bad. Um, I think it's, I think they're right technically, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm also like, it's still kind of gambling if you spend 500 bucks and expect to get money back, you know what I mean? Um, so definitely an interesting way of going about things. What I've also realized about openings and... Maybe this is me kind of speaking in the meta, because as a YouTuber, I shouldn't be speaking about the making of videos, but, um, you know, a lot of planning goes into them, and a lot has to go on. Oh, uh, Lowland Vultix, very nice. A lot of planning goes into, like, you know, what you want to say, what you want to cover, um, Especially when it comes to something like this, because had I not found these cards, these videos probably wouldn't have gotten made. But then the minute I found these cards, 
it was super important to get it out to you guys, kind of, you know, share with the internet all of the fun that's happening. I'm not covering Tapu Blue, not yet. That is a gold card. We will celebrate that as long as we can. Although I wouldn't mind an Alolan Nine Tails uh, GX Shiny. That that is a card to pull tonight. So this pack was a little lively. Not gonna lie, we got that Alolan Nine Tails so far, and I do see something back there. Oh my God! Ooh. QT Sylveon GX, very nice, very very nice. Giovanni's Exile, Focus Trap, Pewter City Gem, and then I did get a Vaporeon on there, so that's fun. But definitely the Sylveon, super happy about it. Look how pretty it is, oh my goodness. One thing I gotta say about these cards, they have been just top notch with this stuff. Um, just the most gorgeous cards you can possibly think of. Um, they got them. They got them and more. You know what I mean? They're, um, they're really doing a lot to like wow you with the cards that you're getting. Um, although one thing I do have to say is that I have not, or I have yet to receive a duplicate full art shiny. I hope I'm not jinxing myself, but um, I don't believe I have. And then in case you're wondering, there's a lot of glue on this one. It's kind of gross. So. Um, again, evidence to maybe the idea that they've uh, been rushing production on these cards. I would hate to think that's what's happening, because of course quality is what suffers when something like that happens, but <sighs> they gotta do what they gotta do. Regular rare. Okay, I will take the leaf energy. Yeah, see? They have glue on the packs that is, like, out there. So that was actually a pretty solid uh, set. That was an Alolan Vulpix, a Sylveon GX Full Art card, and a Leaf Energy, so not bad. Um, so three done, and six to go. Let's start with this one over here real quick now. And we're moving along. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to start pulling these, and then I'm going to put them up so that you can kind of see them as it goes. So then, it's kind of like a live, let me pull this out before we start, and then just roll through them. Ah, yes, shiny Matang. So I don't have that yet, but I know for a fact that, assuming I can get my hands on at least one Pokebox, Pokeball collection box thing, um, that I will now have the full set, assuming I get a um, a Metagross one. And then, like I said, I'm going to put it up here, so then we'll be able to see by box what it is we're pulling. Maybe we can uh, make some observations specifically in that realm and see if there's anything of note. So here we go. I can throw on I can use a Porygon. Okay, not bad. Um, I think we'd had duds before. I think now we're just noticing it, or at least I'm noticing it now. Um, because I'm still in shock about this gold card. Fun fact, Sylveon has covered the gold card, but it's still number one in our hearts. Lieutenant Surge Strategy and Starmie GX. Very nice. Fun fact, my first Starmie GX. So we are going to sleeve this guy up. And at bare minimum, he may very well be part of our ongoing collection. Right, and I did say we would put him up here. So in this one alone, we've got a Starmie GX and a Shiny card. Not bad. I love that sound Pokemon cards make. It's a wonderful thing. And we do the roll. Okay, so this was a bit of a dry tin, not gonna lie. Um, mind you, these are all Charizard, so, um, you know, not bad. I'll do a, a, a video where we sort of compare and compile what we're pulling from different boxes and we'll sort of see what that's like. Um, we'll see what the values are like, too. But at the moment, um, honestly, not bad. Uh, I don't always anticipate that we're gonna have, you know, winners 
and even when we have winners, we obviously have to have losers in between. But so far, I think they, these two videos that I've made so far are pretty much in line with what I've seen for these uh, tins. I think by and far it's about the right number. So. Okay, and we roll. Slowpoke, Zapdos, I'll take it. Scyther, Jinx, Magmar. We'll sleeve that up once we have something worth sleep. Card, pop it out the back. And roll. Curlia, hello. Um, so, fun fact, I think I just completed a second evolutionary line. Um, we pulled Gardevoir in the opening video for the Hidden Fate series. We pulled Ralts in the Elite Trainer Box that is currently on its way to be graded. So, between the two? Yeah, I think we have that full evolutionary line. And I don't think Gallade is in this um, set. So, not bad. So, so far we've pulled a Zapdos and a Curly out of that box, I think. Um, a Scyther, a Mr. Mine, Fire, Rock, Grid, Graveler. Not bad. At this point, guys, we would have opened up 20 packs, and we now have 16 left. So these are the last four tins that we have to open up. I gotta say, the Charizard tins are opening, at least the packs are opening a lot nicer. Could be just me. Maybe I'm getting better. I doubt it. Magikarp and a Mewtwo. The Magikarp's a reverse. What a, what a dinky card. It's totally dank, bro, bro. Totally dank. Um, but it's a GX, so we gotta be excited, we gotta love this. Um, and it's a good looking GX. I mean, to be fair, Mewtwo's a fan favorite, so... I love Mewtwo's in all shapes and forms. I mean, obviously, the gold card would be the best card, but... Um, the shiny Mewtwo GX is amazing, so... Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Cuffing, Goldbrook, Fable, Bills Analysis, Dark Energy, Mr. Ruin City Gym, Misty's, and okay. Definitely said Misty's, and that was a Sabrina's. So I could be wrong, guys, but two dud packs, two more packs to go. One of which is a Mewtwo, one of which is a Charizard. So that's, that's something. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Yeah, there's something in there. I see it. Ralts and Giovanni's Exile. Very cool. Okay. So, let's get two sleeves and then we'll talk about it real quick. Boy. This is awkward. I only got one sleeve. Alright, so this Ralts. We just pulled Curly out. So, that's pretty good. And then, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this is our first full art trainer card. It is a Giovanni's Exile, so also pretty cool. Um, and that was in one box so far. Or one tin. Rather. A Magmar, Erebus Hospitality, Psychic, Koga, Lieutenant Surge, and another Magmar. Okay, very cool. Um, so yeah, it looks like um, that goes there. Alright, so far we have one gold card and one shiny GX. I would have three more tins to go. So this is our third. So one thing I did notice is that in the Raichu video, and in the Raichu tins, there was also a little bit of stickiness, I guess? So a Psychic and a Water. 
Um, there was a little bit of like a off cut with um, the online booster code. So it was weird because we would, I would un, I would sort of like grab the back of the card and it would like click into place. And it sounds weird, but it was like a weird thing. I don't notice that in these cards, so that's good. Bill's analysis hollow, regular electrode. Um, yeah, but something interesting I noticed. I, you know, it has to probably do with the way that the cards are packed and um, packaged, but I just thought it was weird because, like, and I'll try to demonstrate it now. When I pull the cards out, they would be like this, and then I would have to, like, push them in line and sort of click them into place. Um, so it was weird. It was just a weird, quirky thing. There was also that one pack that the back card, which thankfully a trainer, was damaged. So that was Butterfree, in case you missed it. But um, yeah, I, I, I was also just kind of shocked because I was like, oh my god. Um, that's like crazy how uh, the cards are like kind of damaged coming out. I was, you know, I guess an error pack, but also just kind of scary. Because what if that was a Charizard? You shiny shove it. Very nice. And then. Magmar. So in that particular set, we got three cards of note. And just to recap, we got a hollow foil energy. Not bad at all, I think. I think I'm very much on my way to having a complete collection. We got a shiny Shuppet. Fun fact, texture pattern there. Beautiful card. So that's another one. I know there's a Miss Magius. I think Miss Magius. Um, or some other Pokemon, maybe. Then this another Starmie GX. Pretty nice card, not gonna lie. The thing is, is that... Two more to go, by the way. The thing is, is that you can't release a really nice Pokemon set and then release a bad set after it. And you can't release two good sets right after each other, because the truth of the matter is, if fans really love a set, I don't know if they'll have much love for the next set after, you know what I mean? They'll be like, we want more Hidden Fates. So I think it's smart of them to release a set like this, because like, the next set is going to kind of reset everything anyway. I do see something coming up. Metal and a bird. Okay, those are pulls. Take those. Pop those guys there. If you guys see my house right now, it's hilarious the amount of like packs, tins, and paper there are. So it's actually kind of comical. Rocks training, another EV. Very nice. So far, I think I've noticed um, a pattern where you'll get about one shiny card per thing. Um, that remains to be seen like 100% of the way, but I think that's the general rule. A Pikachu using grass and Metapod. And the last one in this tin. This is awkward. So that's happened to me now a couple times too, where like I get full tear out. Which isn't good, because I don't want to rough these cards up too much. Do I need to get the knife? I think I need to get the knife, guys. Oh, no. There's more than one way to open up a pack of Pokemon cards. Lessons of the day. And in case you're curious where all of those code cards are going, follow us on Instagram, and they are all yours. So definitely no problem sharing those. Um, our Instagram's going to be tagged below, so just go ahead and shoot us a follow, and then you'll see whenever we post new codes, we have all, literally tons of them. So, you know, we've got to deal with a lot of those. We get the bird and like literally everything, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, crazy stuff. We, um, you know, we definitely are doing pretty well in terms of um, 
the amount of codes we have, so definitely follow us. There's tons to go around. Just make sure to comment to make sure. So this is our last one, guys. We have two Mews, a Birds, and a Mewtwo. At that point, we would have opened up another 36 packs. These ones all belong to the infamous Charizard tin, which is by far the fan favorite, but not the collector favorite, because apparently the pulls are uh, not as good. Um, and honestly, that, uh, you know, that does come by right by me, so uh, I can't complain. Let's see what we got. Figure up that coffee is done. I think I see something. Caterpie, Blaine's last stand, another one. Okay, starting off strong, I like it. That was a Mewtwo. Let's do the bird. Then we'll do a few little die packs. It's so funny because I opened up the cards and all you see is Caterpie's eye poking out of the back. It's the funniest thing. Um, gotta love Caterpie. What a classic Pokemon. And it stayed. Like, it's it, it's still relevant. Like, look, there's literally two-thirds of its evolution line in this one pack. Um, it, yeah, it's a solid Pokemon. It, it, it's a Caterpillar, but, you know, in the history of Pokemon, like, I think it's like the most normal, chill Pokemon that you can sort of, like, reliably put in an episode. He's been funny, he's been sad, he's been everything, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a good card. I like it. Psyduck. Well, oh, that's funny. Oh, Mariano. Um, very cool. So that is another dupe as well. That is the Moltra, Zapdos, and Articuno full art card. Another version of the card. So that's pretty good. I have uh, a lot of those now, so it's getting to a point now where it's like not a, it's not as big a deal anymore. <laughs> I want new cards. And the last pack, friends. Here we go. Lobo, Clefairy, Coffin, Voltorb, Cubo, Trimune, and that's all she wrote, guys. Cool beans. Let's get these two sealed up and preserved for future generations. And then it's time for All right, guys, it's recap time. So, from the regular set of Hidden Fates cards. First thing we pulled was this full art Giovanni's Exile. Super cool card, I think. Um, definitely, you know, price-wise has gone down, but um, classic card. Who doesn't know Giovanni from the original anime? So we'll put him up there. After that, I got a full art card. I Personally, this is my favorite of the non-promotional cards. Um, you know, I think it has everything you need in terms of, like, the three birds. I think this is the card that I will at least remember as the one for the three birds. I got... <laughs> so I got three of these, so that's really fun. Um, these are the... This is the full art version. No rainbow rares this time. We did get a rainbow rare in the last booster box. Two Starmies, two Mewtwo's. I'm pretty sure we got that same exact breakout in the last one. Thankfully, no pincers, though, so that's good. So from this set, we definitely got that Giovanni's Exile. Um, our first full art training card, I suppose. We got two metal, one psychic, one hollow brass. We got another Zapdos, so that gets added to the collection. And we got two additional Eevees, which also get added to the collection. So that'll be fun. And then finally, but not least, our shiny ball cards. So first things first, Riolu. Um, we pulled the hollow Lucario non-GX in the last episode, so this completes that evolutionary line. I'm hoping this is a premonition of the Alolan Ninetales coming up. We got a Shuppet, a Ralts, which by the way I have one of these currently at PSA getting graded, so TBD, um, but we now have Curlia, and if you checked out the original Hidden Fates announcement video where we um, sort of just did a quick recap of um, things and opened up one tin. We actually got, ironically, two full art cards. One was the Gardevoir, so we now have that evolutionary line. I had Beldum, uh, I now have a Metang, and then a Sylveon GX, which I think alone is amazing. 
So that's really cool. And that centering is PSA 10 worthy, I want to say. And then the big guy, the fella himself, Tapu Bulu GX. We'll look up the price on this one for you guys, but honestly, super excited about it. Um, and in terms of centering, you know, spot on. So I think a really nice, maybe gem mint, hopefully pristine type of card. But yeah, guys, uh, that's today's video. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to throw some of your own thoughts down below about what it is you're seeing and pulling. Um, these Charizard tins, I don't know, I feel conflicted. There's a part of me that's like, we pulled a gold card, but there's another part of me that's like, yeah, but we only pulled one um, GX full art shiny card. So it's, I guess it's a bit of a toss up. 